welcome to our top 10 quick comic picks. I'm Andy. I'm Matt. We're here with Infinity Flux Comics out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. And this is our really quick show where we show you some of the biggest and best books that are coming out this week to your local comic book store. Whether you shop with us at Infinity Flux, this store we're currently in, or over at InfinityFlux.net. It's all there. It's all ready to be ordered. Mm -hmm. And we're going to give you a little bit of an idea of what to expect. And it is a big week. Yep. So I'm actually going to start off with... Phoenix, number one. This is our second of the new X-Men titles. We had X-Men last week. Now we have Phoenix. And let me say, it continues to be awesome. Yeah. In this one, Phoenix, uh, Jean Grey is trying to kind of find herself after all of this. And she goes to space to try and do good for the whole galaxy. But there is a crisis that uh, it seems like no matter what she chooses, there's not a good outcome. And how does she deal with this? Yeah. It's great. The art is fantastic. I highly recommend you picking yeah. up Phoenix number one. The first for me is Dark Knights of Steel All Winter number one. This is set in the Dark Knights of Steel universe about six months after the main series that we got a few months back. In this one, Vandal Savage hires Deathstroke, who is a kind of Viking assassin, to capture a monster. And he's going to have to set off on this journey with Killer Frost to capture this monster, but when he gets to where he's going, he is shocked by what he sees, and maybe he no longer wants the job. So just another great addition to the Dark Knights of Steel universe. Next up, another number one. This is Namor number one, and it does not look like the kind of Namor book <laughs> you're used to, because in this one, Namor is in a like high-security prison. We don't know why, we don't know what he did, but we do know he's not being treated great. But he uh, refuses to go back to the water or even try to escape. But something, a war brewing under the sea, may drive him back. Uh, a lot of mystery to this one, but a very interesting first issue. And next is Daredevil Woman Without Fear, number one. This is going to be a mini-series. I don't remember how many issues. But in this one, Elektra's young friend Alice, who we've seen in some other issues, she disappears mysteriously. So Elektra is going to go on a journey to find her. She gets a message from the Magia to go to Madripoor, where she runs into Crossbones. And most of the issue is Elektra fighting Crossbones. Enough said. It's awesome. That's awesome. Next up, a super weird one. This is Paranoid Gardens number one. This is by Gerard Way, if you're familiar mm. with him from My Chemical Romance or from Umbrella Academy. This has that level of weird as we follow our character Lou, who is working at a very mysterious nursing home. She's been there about four months, but she doesn't remember her life before that. Oh, and a lot of the people in the nursing home are kind of monsters, but Thanks. there might be a little superhero elements to it and a bunch of mystery. I'll get into it more with our longer review, but if you like kind of Umbrella Academy and some of the weird stuff there, I think you'll really like this one. And next is Witchblade number one. This is a kind of a reboot of Witchblade from the 90s. This features Sarah Pizzini just as the original series did, but this is a whole brand new telling of her origin. She is investigating uh, some corrupt cops who killed her father. Meanwhile, over in Germany, Kenneth Irons is at a dig site looking for this ancient artifact, and it's this little spider-like thing that it seems like it's drawn to Sarah because it makes its way from Germany to New wow. York. And... Let's just say it latches onto her at just the right time. <laughs> and next up, I have a fantastic one. This is Superman number 16. This is part of Absolute Power. This follows right after Superman got shot, uh, where it looks like it's not doing too well for him. He is trying to recover. Meanwhile, Zatanna is on the run from Amanda Waller and her people. Uh, and her magic's not working, but something that Zatanna knows may help Superman and all the rest of the superheroes survive what Amanda Waller has coming. This was a fantastic yeah. issue. Well, in keeping in line with the Absolute Power tie-ins, we've got Wonder Woman number 11, and this was also great. Now, this takes place uh, before Absolute Power Task Force 7 number 1 that came out last week, so this helps add some context to that book. But it basically just shows... What happened to Wonder Woman, John Constantine, Madame Xanadu, Jim Corrigan, Detective Chimp, Billy Batson, and Mary Bromfield during Absolute Power Number 1? This is their big battle with Paradise Lost, which is the quote-unquote Wonder Woman Amazo. And it's just full of great art and great action and a hilarious backup story with John and Damien and Trinity going to a Black Canary concert. Oh, cool. 
And lastly, for me, I've got Biker Mice from Mars, number one, if you remember this hit TV show. I guess it's more of a cult following TV show. The action figures, all of that. They are back, part of the Nacelleverse. And in this one, the uh, Biker Mice are on Mars. They are just having a good time riding their motorcycles in the canyons of Mars when uh, the Plutarchians, which I guess are from Pluto, attack and basically just reshape Mars as they try to mine there. And the biker mice have to decide, are we going to be like vigilantes mm -hmm. and stop them? Or are we going to join the mice army where we can do more good? It's a really interesting new take on the biker mice from Mars. So if you're a fan of that property, you'll want to check this out. And last for me is Destro number two. Now, this might be the first appearance of a brand new character. They did mention there was going to be a new character in the new ongoing G.I. Joe series in October, but I'm not 100% sure, so don't quite quote me on that. But in this issue, basically, Destro and Mars Industries are going back and forth with Tomax and Zamot and their company, Extensive Enterprises, sort of taking shots at each other, attacking their facilities and things like that. Or maybe it's not them doing that. Uh, we're not entirely sure. More mysteries to unravel, but just another great entry into the G.I. Joe section of the Energon universe. And that is it for our top 10 quick comment picks. Thank you so much for watching. Head over to infinityflux.net right now where you can order these books while supplies last. That's super important because these go very fast. Mm -hmm. Uh, so head on over there and stay tuned for our longer video coming up where we're going over these books plus their variants and a lot more uh, coming up very soon. So until then, see, see ya. ya.